Hello guys, welcome to Being Engineers. I am Shobhik and in this video I will show you how to install Java environment in your machine and I also tell you how to execute Java programs through a command prompt. There are many techniques available to compile and execute .java files but this is the most easiest one according to me. Before starting let me tell you that at any point of this video if you are facing any problem then feel free to comment down your query in the comment section box below. Important links of this video are given in the description box, you can check them out if you want. If you are new to this channel being engineers then please consider subscribing to our channel, it is completely free and it helps us to motivate ourselves to produce more and more videos for our audience. And don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified about new videos. So without making much delay, let's start this video. Before you start the installation, you must check if any residue from the previous installation is there or not. To check this, open your command prompt at any location and just type in the command java c and press enter. If the result shows the java c is not recognized as an internal or external command, then there is no problem and you can go further. To download the java jdk file, open your browser and google the keyword java jdk. The first link should be of oracle. So open the link and there will be two versions. The first one is the java version and the second one is the netbeans. We obviously need the first one so click on it. In the new page you can see all the available versions of java for different operating systems. The last two are for the windows version and depending upon the OS architecture you can download them. So if you are using windows 10 I presume that you are on a 64 bit OS then you have to download the last one. And if you are using a 32-bit OS, you can download the la second last one. So just click on the file name and the download will start automatically. If you are not sure about it, then check the properties of your my computer to confirm the bit size of your OS. As you can see here, the download is already started for 64-bit OS. It will take some time depending upon your internet speed. It is a 190 MB file. So just wait for some minute and I will come back as soon as it is downloaded. Here the file is downloaded now. This is how it will look in the desktop. Now just double click on this icon and the installation will start by itself. Just do next, next and don't alter any settings. The installation directory will be C program files java jdk by default and you don't need to change it by any way. The installation will be very quick and whenever it asks for the jre directory click on yes and next. Once the installation is completed, close the application. To check whether the java is installed correctly or not, do the same procedure as we have done it previously. Open command prompt and type in the command java c. Previously it was written that java c is not recognized as any internal or external commands. But now you can see all these options that is coming in the command prompt window. So if you can see this in the window, then the java is installed successfully and you can go further. The next step is to add the environment variables. To do this, open my PC and go to properties. Then you can see the advanced system settings option in the upper left corner of the window. Go to environment variables and then find path in the system variable sub menu. Click on edit. Now go to the java folder in the program files in the C directory. Go to bin directory in JDK. Copy the full address of the bin directory and paste it in the new path. Do same for the GRE folder, go to GRE, go to bin and then copy the whole address of the bin and paste it there in the path. So there will be two new paths added in the environment variable. Click on OK, OK and then close the properties window. Here I will write a java program just to check if we have done it correctly or not. So this is a print program that will print the following line and I am writing this code in notepad++ editor. When done, save it at any place you want. 
so i have created i will be saving it in my documents because i have created a folder for all the java programs previously so here i will be saving it with the name of check.java as check is the class name you have to remember the main class name and the file name should be same in the java program and they are case sensitive so be aware of that otherwise there will be error in the coding a compilation next open the directory where you have saved it press down shift key and right click in the mouse a new pop up will come with the option of open comment prompt here click on it and first of all type in the comment java c space the file name for me it is check.java and press enter and in this directory you can see now the check.class file is made and that is the byte code of this program and now we will execute this byte code by the following command that is java space check and press enter now you can see the code run successfully and the sentence that we have written in the program is now printed in the command prompt here so that's how you can execute your java programs from command prompt hope this video is helpful to you if yes then please like this video and please consider subscribing to our channel it is completely free and it motivates us to produce more and more video so thank you for watching see you in our next video till then goodbye and take care